my prayer today comes up from a place of grief within my heart. I was driving back from my mom's on Monday when I heard the end of a world leader's speech from the climate summit in Glasgow, COP26. And at the end of the speech, he said, God bless the earth. I don't know that I've ever heard one of our leaders ever say that. They always believe that God's blessing our country. But he started saying, God bless the earth, and tears just started rolling down my cheeks. And so this prayer today for me is for the earth from that place of grief. Holy One, we stop today here in this space We stop today and breathe deeply. Breathe deeply of your presence, of the beauty that you've surrounded us with. Holy One, as I was out walking today with River, we stopped by the church and I watched as the ginkgo leaves fell from the tree, slowly fluttering to the ground. Those leaves falling one after the other. But they were the wrong color. They weren't brown. They weren't the yellow that they usually turn. They were green and falling. There are so many trees around here that are still green and when they fall, the leaves fall. They don't fall in the beauty of those colors that we so want to see. And my heart aches for the earth. As the weather patterns change, they don't know how to deal with it. The animals and the trees, the plants and the insects, they haven't had time for their genetic systems to change to match the changing climate. And I grieve for them. So Holy One, we stop and we pray. We pray for world leaders. We pray for you to change their hearts. Because right now they're giving us words. They're getting us words that they keep giving us, telling us the planet is dying and then yet not doing anything to fix it. Not changing the way we behave, the way we act. Holy One, open the hearts of those world leaders. Help them hear and feel the pain, the pain of those young youth activists that couldn't come into the country because they were Muslim. For those young youth activists that went on a hunger strike outside the White House, demanding that their leaders listen, that their leaders let them have a future. Holy One, we pray for your earth. For your earth that is crying out with floods and wildfires. That is crying out with drought and hurricanes. We see the way the glaciers have disappeared. We see those horrific pictures of polar bears with no place to go. Holy One, be with our earth. Holy One, be with the most vulnerable. 
be with those who are in the places most impacted by climate change and had the least to do with it. Be with those countries that are facing extinction as sea levels rise. Be with those countries experiencing such drought and such flooding. Be with the people who are most vulnerable to any changes that will have to happen. Make decisions, just decisions, that take all of us into mind. And Holy One, help us figure out how to hold people accountable. Hold people accountable. Corporations accountable. Because the change to a corporation can make in how they live and act and work in this world will have more impact on changing climate than what I personally can do with all the changes I've made in my own life. So Holy One, we ask you to hold those who are particularly responsible for the majority of damage. Hold them accountable. Change their hearts, change their structures, change their business models. Holy One, one of my favorite prayers comes from your Psalms in which the psalmist says, I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from you who made heaven and earth. Holy One, we ask your help to come. Amen.